Retro Review right here! Top 10 games on the PC. That's games available on the PC, not PC exclusives. So, here we go. XCOM Enemy Unknown. A highly enjoyable and incredibly unforgiving game, XCOM Enemy Unknown gets you to play as the commander of a worldwide initiative set up in response to an alien invasion. It'll be up to you to construct your base, research weapons and technology, and command a squad of elite soldiers on the field as you take the fight to the enemy. But be warned, as this game includes permadeath for your squad mates, so if one of them dies, there is no coming back. Including nail-biting combat, and an interesting and addictive base building section too, XCOM Enemy Unknown is a must own. Mass Effect 2! Space Jesus returns to us this time in the second instalment of the Mass Effect series, in which you'll investigate the mysterious disappearances of many human colonies. But this is just the start of yet another galaxy-wide quest, which will have you come into contact with many characters that you'll be familiar with already from the first game, and a ton of new and interesting ones as well. With loads more game time, including both side missions and more to do outside of missions, Mass Effect 2 is rightfully regarded as one of the best titles available on the PC. Bioshock Infinite A very close call between this and the first game in the series, Bioshock Infinite brought us one of the best single-player alternative reality experiences to this day. Though fans were expecting a huge plot twist, much in the same sense as the first game, we could never have predicted what lay in waiting, leaving most players minds blown upon completion of the game. Including very clever writing, a setting as unique as its plot, and solid core gameplay mechanics, Bioshock Infinite will stand the tests of time for many years to come. Lane Goodman. Seven. Unreal Tournament 2004 Though on a personal level, I'd argue that the original should be on here, the 2004 edition to the series is where most of the hype and acclaim can be found. But there's a very justified reason for that, as this game includes several editions that the series was screaming out for, including a huge variety of maps and gaming modes, tons of new weapons, customization and tournament options, and vehicles, including airborne vehicles. While Unreal Tournament 2003 was considered to be a basic skeleton of what a true Unreal Tournament should be, UT 2004 showed us our expectations of this highly rated series, and then some. Deus Ex! Ever heard the maxim in which every time someone mentions this game, someone else will reinstall it? Well that alone should describe how loved this title is. Widely recognised as being one of the best PC games to date, this game is essentially a sci-fi James Bond story meets a Dan Brown novel. Human augmentation, secret societies vying for world domination, plague epidemics, and layers upon layers of popular conspiracy theories come to life only just covers the tip of this iceberg. Delve deeper into the story to see the rest. Or just watch my lore series, you know. Combining classic RPG elements with tactical first-person shooting, and the option of either stealthing your way through a level, or just kicking in the front door and going postal. Deus Ex is a game that can be approached in many different ways, and yet enjoyed by all. Unless you don't own a PC. Or a PS2. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim! Fans of this channel will know that my personal fave is Oblivion, but once again, Skyrim is in at number 5 purely for how highly rated it was. Then again, it deserves to be there. A world map and culture based on ancient Norse mythology, and an absolutely insane amount of content and stuff that you could do, means that this game blurs the boundaries between playing a game and living a different life. With many factions to join and fight for, many, many classes and skills to develop and refine, or you could just ditch all of your quests, go to the local tavern, read a good book whilst drinking a highly illegal substance and we're not going to tell the guard how we came hold of it, Skyrim is undoubtedly one of the best games available on the PC. World of Warcraft 
the one game that Blizzard is most famous for, World of Warcraft is a game so notorious that even most people who have never even considered touching a games console, let alone a PC, have at least heard about this game. Many see this game as the daddy of the MMO RPG genre, and I'm inclined to agree with this, for most newer MMOs tend to get chewed out, as their players realise that they could be having the same experience, and better, by going back to WoW. Also being one of the longest running games, with new content being made and implemented regularly, this game has stood for 10 years now, and shall most likely do so for yet another 10 years and more. It was those three words to save my life. Minecraft! With a ridiculously big fan base being found right here on YouTube, with an infinite amount of channels dedicated to this game, Minecraft is a work of art. Most Minecraft players will understand that this is simply not just a game. It's also a creativity tool. Unlike most games where you're given an objective or told to go here because <laughs> Minecraft will drop you into a randomly generated world and that's all the game does for you. From that point on, you are free to do whatever you feel like. The map is your canvas and you can create anything that you wish. Even if creativity is not your strong point, you can still treat it as an adventure game by tunnelling into the earth, uncovering lost caves and ruins, all of which holding hidden treasures and foreboding monsters. Or if you're really knowledgeable, travelling to another dimension and fighting powerful monsters there. It's up to you to set your own objectives and goals, and the only thing that will limit what you do is your own creative capability. It's a simple, yet incredibly effective title, and one that millions worldwide have fallen in love with. GTA 5 Though most GTA fans will claim that either San Andreas or Vice City are the best titles in the series, that opinion is getting challenged these days by the advent of the GTA 5 movement. Whether or not you think one is better than the other, you can't deny the impact and success that GTA 5 has had. And being that this is a video dedicated to the master race, the PC version is the one to get. With its limitless chaos and destruction that's happening right in front of your eyes, and the many other acts of criminality that will inevitably be committed by you, GTA 5 gives us a huge map and all the freedom and guns that you could wish for. And look what you all did. You turned Los Santos into a war zone. Great going. I'm not trying to talk you down or anything. I did all that too. One more time. The Orange Box. The problem with trying to pick a game for the number one spot is that there are many games out there that could qualify. Half-Life 2? Yeah. Portal? Of course. Team Fortress 2? Sure, why not? But it just so happens that you can get all of these games in one bundle in the form of the orange box. This is essentially the Valve Bible. All it's missing is Left 4 Dead 1 and 2 and Half-Life 1. And Dota 2. Yeah, alright, so Valve tends to make good games, shut up! Containing Team Fortress 2, one of the most well-known, well-balanced and still alive class-based multiplayer FPSs. Portal, one of the most hilarious, well thought out and atmospheric puzzle platformers out there, and the entire Half-Life 2 collection, which is possibly one of the biggest landmarks in gaming history, and that's saying the least about it, there is absolutely no way that I could have possibly made a top 10 PC games list and not have the orange box in at number 1. And we're done again! But I'm aware that there were many awesome PC games that I didn't cover, and I'm afraid that this was only limited to 10, so there's like a hundred honourable mentions there. But please share your top PC games in the comments below. Likes and subs as usual, and get following on Twitter by going to at true underscore reviewer, and I'll see you all next Tuesday. Haha, <laughs> psych! Life is killing me.